Libreville, Gabon, a city rife with neglect in one of Africa's wealthiest nations per capita. Lionel Ekomi has campaigned for years for better living conditions. Now, in the wake of the ousting of President Ali Bongo, recriminations are flying over who backed the Bongos and their once powerful party, the PDG. They've got Stockholm Syndrome. That's what the Bongos did to the Gabonese people. There are kids with links to the presidency who have millions, and this poor man has nothing, but still believes the PDG has given him everything. We drive with Lionel through the city. The contrast between rundown residential areas and expensive government buildings is huge. World Bank figures show nearly 40% of Gabon's population lives below the poverty line. Lionel takes us to the neighborhood where he grew up in the east of Libreville. So here we go. No more paved roads. Now you'll see the real struggle. This road was part of a renovation project costing millions of euros. But the tarmac never made it this far. Lionel stops by his family home, where public services are absent. We haven't got any water apart from the well that I dug over there. And obviously we don't have roads. Life's very difficult here. They're letting Ali Bongo go. He can go abroad. But he should answer for his management. And with no refuse collections, people throw their waste into a nearby stream. This is the real Gabon. It's not the Gabon you've seen before on TV. Gabon, the world's leading producer of manganese, or the oil producer. You see, he's going to the well now, to get some water. There are microbes, so for the children, Sometimes we catch infections. I've caught them myself. The Bongo family had been in power for 55 years. Whatever their differences, in the aftermath of the toppling of the Bongo regime, everyone here in Gabon agrees that so much work needs to be done.